Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we'll be taking a look at Bruiser Theo's Heal Zoo Lock, uh, or the Hellfire Zoo Heal Lock, Heal Zoo Lock, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so if you have been hiding under a rock for the last couple of weeks, or you might not have seen the the rise of Heal Zoo Lock, uh, Zulok back in fashion with a little bit of a twist and that may it is in the form of Light Warden and Happy Ghoul with some heal synergies like Voodoo Doctor and uh, This list isn't playing it, but sometimes people play a fungal enchanter uh, And other healing cards like life drinker. So we're trying to uh, Get a couple of these like get some Light Wardens down do ourselves some damage heal ourselves up get some triggers make a big Light Warden play some free happy ghouls, and just beat our opponent down. Uh, other than that, we've got a lot of very typical Zulok cards, Flame Imp and Kobold Librarian doubling up as a ways to damage yourself, as well as good bodies in the early game. Keliseth on two to buff all our boys up. I think we want a pretty aggressively mulligan for Keliseth uh, over our, um, our, our heal synergies. Uh, we've also got... Uh, things at the late game, we've got some Despicable Dreadlords, some Fungal Mancers and Leroy's. No Doom Doom Guards here. I'm actually uh, pretty pretty high on Doom Guards right now in uh, in Zulok decks. Uh, but uh, we've got a Gul'dan in here, which I actually haven't seen in a lot of these lists, so I'm pretty keen to get this one going on. So one of the things that makes Bruiser Theo's list quite uh, unique is we've got some tech cards in here. We've got the Void Rippers, as well as one of Tar Creeper which is very good against those uh, other creature-based matchups. We've also got a Hellfire in here. Uh, and I think a lot of people are going to see this Hellfire and wonder uh, what's it doing in such an aggressive deck that's trying to uh, have a presence on the board. You know, you're only going to kill yourself. And I think it plays an interesting uh, an interesting role where in a lot of the these mirror matchups or these... Uh, very board presence focused matchups. Uh, Zulok's not actually the greatest deck in that matchup. You 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 might lose that that matchup pretty consistently. Uh, but if you do have a Hellfire, uh, no one's ever going to see it coming. If they think you like, if your cut first couple of turns involve Light Wardens and and these kind of things, no one's going to think you you have a Hellfire, and they may overcommit into it, and then this will give you an out. Uh, in that late game to actually kill your opponent. Uh, pretty good against unbuffed chain gangs as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to see if this Hellfire does some work. Can also just be the last three damage to, to finish our opponent off. So things we're going to be paying attention to, obviously our mulligans, we're going to try and uh, uh, really nail those those mulligans and uh, try and hit these these Kaliseth or these synergies. Uh, we're also going to pay attention to this Gul'dan. Is it just... You know, is 10 mana just too much? Have we already lost the game by the time we're getting to 7, 8, 9 mana? Let alone 10. Uh, and also, if the Hellfire does much, um, got to pay attention to that. Also, this second Void Ripper. I'm I'm so-so on the second Void Ripper, but I do like that card. And I, I haven't played too much with it, so I'll reserve judgment until I have some uh, experiential data. So uh, let's jump into some games. Ooh, what do we got? Gul'dan, Druid, the first Druid of the day. I must protect the wild. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. So this is a bit of, a, of an interesting mulligan. Obviously, we don't want Gul'dan. We're happy to draw that later. We have Voodoo Doctor and Happy Ghoul, but we have no way of damaging ourselves. So... Yeah, if we could send these two back, and if we did hit a Flame Imp or a Kobold Librarian, uh, we could, you know, go off on turn one, essentially, by going Flame Imp slash Kobold, Vo Coin, Voodoo Doctor, Happy Ghoul. So that's one thing we could go for, the Explosive start, but that's two in, two in 26, one in 13. Sorry, four. Four in 26. One in 7.5. But I think I'm actually going to go the full mole and try and hit the Kaliseth. I think the Kaliseth is a bit more... A bit more valuable. Sweet. And we got a nice start here. Especially against Druid. Like... We're so likely to get... Uh, 
to get swiped and things like that. So having an explosive start might be okay, but then if we run into like an Ironwood Golem or a swipe, which our opponent could ta could have on turn three here, uh, we're uh, probably not going to be in a great position. We won't point here if they if they do want to swipe or something. This board isn't a great board to swipe. Could bait out a, a spellstone as well. That'll be great. Yeah, these spellstones are really valuable. I think in in these kind of matchups. So to have our opponent kind of waste one there, it's very good. Unfortunately, we've drawn both chain gangs, so we're not going to get any Kalaseth buffed chain gangs out. Um. we lead with the Librarian... Hmm... If we lead with the Librarian, we can't play the Chain Gang. The Void Ripper is really interesting. Someone called for the Especially a, as a 4 4. So now we're on the stage of the game where we need to try to play around. Um, spreading plague as much as we can. Though so this play, hmm, we I mean we have the void ripper right, so I guess we don't really need to be too concerned. Maybe we just tap and play this voodoo doctor. I wonder. Yeah. Lucky draw. Both times. Okay. Uh, I think we might just play Fungal Mancer here. Okay, so it's like a token druid with a with a rough draw. Like to have hit a uh, spellbreaker. I think. Wow, we're springwoods for two. See, it definitely seems like one of those. Uh, they're just trying to hold out until uh, until ultimate infestation. So let's see if we can ruin those plans a bit.
in the light's name. Why do you go? So this gives us a bit of potential to get them with uh, Leroy. Pay attention, class. I can see. Hey, we got there. Okay, rogue. None can escape my fury. Your soul shall be mine. See if it's a uh, odd rogue. We get to be on the other side of the uh, the matchup. None will it is. Come on. Show me the killer, sir. No dice. Dreadlord is pretty good in this matchup. Soulfire, not so much there. Coin. Coin SI? This guy's toast. I'm not a fan of that play. They could have just daggered up and achieved a similar result. Had the dagger up for their, their turn three. Um. Okay. So, I guess, better late than never, maybe? Unsure. If we can, if we can grind this one down. Come on, Voidwalker, off the top. Creeperoni. Um... Yeah, I'm happy to throw this soul fire at the pig. Leroy is fine to lose. I, I think we're playing the, the grindy side of the game where once we get past the, the vile spines, I think we can we start looking a bit better. But this, this board is a good setup for the fungal mancer if they don't have an answer. Do lose our board, but pretty much going to be tapping most turns. Hmm. In the light's name. Could have played the 2 2 Fungal Mancer, I guess. Seen what happened. Discarding that Dreadlord was 
Oof. Alright, let's see if this, uh... See if we can draw this hellfire. Doesn't help against the, uh, the pig, though. Yeah, definitely a reason to have uh, played the Fungal Mancer instead of the uh, Light Warden there. Well, there's the Gul'dan. Unfortunately, they uh they had that vile spine on turn six was uh, was right on time. And losing that despicable dreadlord, well, that would have been a uh, a key part in getting through those those couple of turns. But we didn't get there, and that's okay. That's okay. Another druid. Lunara. The forest fights back. Your soul shall be mine. Hmm. Definitely want to send all this back. I think think a lot of people might be tempted to keep this happy ghoul. But an extra draw, an extra shot at Kalaseth is totally worth it. And you know, if we had kept it and hit any combination of these three cards. Hmm. If we'd hit any combination of these three cards with a happy ghoul, it's just not a good hand. So we want more shots at hitting those, uh, those one drops, those important cards. Hmm. Tap here. Blood will blow. Get a little bit deeper into our, uh, our Kal uh, into Kalaseth buffed cards. We could have Light Wardened, you know, then may maybe put a bit of pressure on their swipe if that's what they were planning to do. I do. Car Enchanter. Hmm. Big old tauntos, hey? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the second Void Ripper. Especially because it comes at a cost of, uh, like, Fungal Enchanter. And I do... I also don't really necessarily like two Fungal Enchanters, but... I do like... One. So if they want to uh, play Spreading Plague here, we've got a, a big Dreadlord to come out. Actually, we might play the weaker Dreadlord to try and bait them into naturalizing it. On this board, I think we'll just play the big, the big boy. Pretty dangerous spot for our opponent. Let's see what they have to uh, dig themselves out. 
We also have quite a lot of reach in our hand. We've got the Leroy and the Soul Fire. So, opponent is dead on board. Let's see. If they have like a Lich King, they did. Might be hard for them to deal with these bodies. We just need to inch that little bit of damage through. Now, how about the circle of life is over? Pretty heads up play by our opponent there. Trying to be as mana efficient as possible there. Maybe we should have Hellfired. Like Hellfire Happy Ghoul or something. Maybe that would have been better. Because then, then if they follow up into this turn we have the Spellbreaker we get more, more face damage. A little risky tap there. Admittedly, we had one, two, three, four, five. We only had six cards that we couldn't play off the top. Mm. Yeah, now things get a bit, a lot harder for us. Yeah, maybe we should, we definitely should have hell fired on that uh, that turn we played Leroy. They were just too they were way too high and now now that they have the the Plague Lord hero power. Interesting play. Mm. 
Someone call for the doctor. Unless they have like the other naturalized and hadronox, it's a that's a really like bold play to risk burning your own uh, win condition. Unless they think that just the the Malfurion hero power can get them through. Uh, digging now. Okay. All the naturalizers are down. Got a couple of good draws, like Fungal Mancer here. Void Ripper. Yeah. Is this another shot? Hmm. Yeah, we had Life Drinker and Fungal Mancer there, so... Oh, uh, we'll get this Void Walker down. Hmm. These are four threes. So many possibilities. This is like going wide is bad against spreading plague, but going not wide enough is bad if they just like slam a sleepy dragon or whatever. Gul'dan. Unfortunately, we don't get to trade off any of our uh, demons mm. here. Have we had any die? One Void Walker. Oh, the two Dreadlords. Yes. So let's let's set things up. Uh, we'll leave this Void Walker in good stead. Oh, this is a demon? Had no idea. Alright, so... We got them dead on board, we got them dead to the hero power, unless they armor up. So they'd somehow have to both, like, armor up and get their own hadrons killed. It's a close one. Real close one. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Kill him here? Probably not. So we can just drop the Void Ripper and their board dies. Or we could drop the Fungal Mancer and save the Void Ripper. 
Mushroom Punch! I must feed now! As you command. As you command. Oh, we missed one of the, uh, one of the attacks on the, the scarabs. Back with lunch. What do you got? What are you eating? What are you buying? My thoughts are plagued. Masterful. So still got some good draws here. Sweet. And now the void saving the void river pays off here. As we can just uh how do we want to do this? Oh, we just do it. And then your soul three. is mine. Uh, Woodrup gets that. Had no idea that was a demon. Hidden demon. Good games. Okay, we are back with Bruiser Theo's uh, Hellfire Heal Zulok. Uh, just played a couple of games and a phenomenal deck. I think this uh, this kind of list really emphasizes why uh, why Heal Zulok is so good right now. Uh, it has a lot of really great early game threats, has a lot of potential to snowball, and definitely um, has a bit of grinding power, especially with the uh, Blood Reaver Gul'dan in there. We certainly would have wouldn't have won that last game had it not been for uh, for Gul'dan supplying us with that big board and quite a lot of pressure. Um, other than that, we didn't see too many uses for the Hellfire, though there was that one one opportunity to play it where we probably should have. But obviously, it's going to take a lot of time for us to uh, to learn exactly when we want to be playing Hellfire, what matchups we want it in, and these types of things. And I'm sure Bruiser Theo has quite a lot of opinions about uh, about this this tech Hellfire. Other than that, um, the Void Rippers were interesting. I still don't know if I I like the second one, but uh, the first one definitely helped out, uh, and having them in some matchups definitely helps. Um, uh, other than that, yeah, maybe the second Spellbreaker. We can somehow get a second spellbreaker in here, but unsure. It's gonna definitely uh, gonna require some uh, reconfiguring. But overall, I really really like the uh, the list. I li like the archetype. It's very fun to play. Um, it's reasonably budget in that you can get by with just Keliseth and and Leroy. And I think that uh, those are two of the best crafts overall in the game right now. So uh, I, if you've got the dust and you want to try out a nice aggressive strong deck that can do well all the way to legend this is the one for you uh, other than that if you are watching the video on youtube all the links are down in the description including a link to the hearthbone article so you can give bruiser theo uh your feedback if you like the deck if you think it needs some changes if you won some games let them know give it a plus one uh it's also got all the links to my social if you want to get into contact with me or if you do have uh, a deck you want me to play best place to do that is on twitter at tommy underscore wave uh and other than that i hope you're having a fantastic week i love you all and do remember to stay wavy. Bye.